Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this amazing edition of RSW Live. As always, it's me, your boy, Yona, not Russ, and we are kicking things off with some tag team action. As you see, the only undefeated tag team so far in the history of the tag team division here in RSW. And now it's one and two. I mean, the, the tag team names in their name, they're anonymous. The bodyguards of Jake Havoc, who we don't really even know any real information about because, yeah, that, they keep that shit a lot. That is only between them and Jake. I barely know a thing about these two, but I do know that last time we saw them, they won the first ever tag team match in RHW, defeating Death Blow, Ryan Wheeler, and Chris Irvine. And tonight, they decided to do an open challenge to anyone. No matter if you're signed or not, they want a challenge. So, the question is who? will be taking on Namas here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, making their debut here in our HW, ladies and gentlemen, this is technically perfect. A new up and coming tag team here in the business. Jacob and Warren are looking to basically their namesake and be perfect. Because with a team like Anonymous, you got to be on your toes. You got to be, you know, a hundred percent in the game. Because if you're not, if you're not, anonymous will take it. But I don't think that would be a problem for Warren and Jacob because they're technically perfect. But it looks like Jacob is starting this matchup with a number one, and the ooh. Caught the kick already, and now already looking to transition into a fair for a leg lock. Already center of the ring, catching number one off guard, but number one, ooh, slapped to the face. Already getting out of that figure four, but it seems like Jacob is on his toes here, and, and now, ooh, knee to the gut. Now, oh, there goes on by Jacob. Now look at this. The ground and pound keeping number one preoccupied. And that's the thing, that's what you need to do. Ooh, the European Africa by number one. Really, you want to keep number two out of this match. I think that's what technically Perfect has to do. They have to make frequent cash and keep number one in the ring because if number two gets in he's the big man and as I say that tag to number two now wait what's this oh god I need to go yeah oh I need to go oh Jesus Christ and now number two kick to the back and now dropping the elbow to the back of it of the head of Jacob that that's just nasty that now is just nasty that's all I can say. And now, with this move, this robot takedown, tripping number two up as well as here comes Warren, the bigger member of Technically Perfect, but he just gets paused out of a suplex. The strength of number two is insane. That's all I gotta say. It is insane how strong number two is. And that's why I'm saying if they were to make you know, good tags, frequent tags that is, between Jacob and Warren, they could have kept them two out of the ring, but it seems like Anonymous is taking the tag team 
freaking with tag strategy to get used here. It's now, ooh, side slam curve stomp combo, basically. But Warren, still by a back here. Oh, God, chop fly to the knee. Usually you see a chop fly to the back of the leg, not to the front. So that is basically the horrible. Taking out the knee, but ooh, get through to the face. It's now number one, sending Warren back to the corner. Big chop. Tosses him down into a drop kick to the side of the head. Almost damn near to the ear. And you can see this number one just hyping himself up and tag to number two. This is what technically, technically perfect doesn't want. They don't want to get, you know, isolated. But tagging Jacob as he gets caught with the year knock. He tries to go for a coastline on number two. And that's a big mistake. You don't want to go for a coastline on a bigger guy unless you can somehow trip him up or make him on balance. I should say is now look this number two just taunting not only the fan fans a bit but at Warren as well. And ooh, they stuck to the hand and now ooh something on. Jacob is trying to fight back here, give technically perfect a fighting chance in this match. I mean, that first figure four land, I caught number one off guard ever since then. Oh my god, what the fuck? The power of Jacob with the Death Valley driver. I was not expecting that at all whatsoever. But Jacob, and if you're wondering why I haven't said the last name is a technically perfect, First off, I can say Warren's last name for the fight is James last name that I am not going to try because I might fuck that shit up. But, you take up the bad spot here as now he's getting stumped in the corner and this is what technically perfect doesn't want. If you have anonymous game control, this is what happened. Tags in and tags out. Just completely in control here. Now, number two says no one into the drop kick. Dropping Jacob badly. It's now going for the cover here. But Warren, Warren managed to get, get naked and break up the tap, but gets thrown out of the ring for his trouble by number two. So Jacob is now a four man already. So far, in, ooh, nice European uppercut, uppercut there by Jacob. Trying to stay on number one. Trying to rally technically perfect back into this matchup here. I mean, that's all you have to do. You have to try and stay on top of the action. I'm size. Anonymous has basically, I was just about to say, has stopped technically perfect from making tags and using tag moves while they have been literally. Tag, you know, perfectly tag team. Both members are technically perfect. But if Jacob can, is a back and forth here. I can't even finish the sentence. My God, I try to keep up with the action. Wait, ooh, punch to the face here. Wait, oh wait, a dragon, dragon, no! Go for, go for the cover. One, one breaks it up because he was closest. Ooh, missed the kick. No one didn't really duck it. And just this a snap suplex on Jacob. My god, Jacob is in a bad spot here. So now he gets picked up and can't really reverse DDP. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is technically Perfect's debut here. I mean, get accepted this open challenge. I mean, taking a loss here may break their confidence a bit, but what the fuck is. Oh dear God! That's a long way coming down the neck of Jacob. But only a two, Jesus Christ. Does that go for the cover again? One. The only one that's on Warren Grant has been saving his tag team of breaking up those pins. While still, you gotta feel for Jacob. He took a power bomb elbow combo with number two the one going for the combo now that's just fucked 
Now that's why that military presence just drops it. Now, oh my God, he's doing that gamble. Oh my God. Jacob managing to turn that military press into a DDP somehow, some way. Probably scripted his fight, but now he's going to on the attack on number two here. Went for your photo, but didn't work. But he hit that neck breaker and worked out. He just drops the knee across the face of number two. Holy fucking hell! Now, ooh, went for a knee, probably. But wait a minute, look at this. The first DD out of the out of the dragon, like turns this from the dragon into that first DD. As you can see, no one still isn't up to his feet. As pick of tags worn in. And that one for a stomp up. And with this number two, got, he catches the arm, trying to work it over, but Warren punches to the gut, came out of that. And with this hit him into the corner. And oh my god! Number two caught that man by his face as it slammed him. That wasn't a new act. That wasn't a tough. That was just pure palm to face and gave no fucks about it. Now Noble wants us to call him away because he knows that his team is in control here. Now tossing Warren Grant out of the ring. And oh my god. For the first time never. Number one is. Ooh! I also thought he was going to fly, but no. Hey, it's a slot. Here, I drop it through the top and no rope. Now, it needs to fly on the outside here. Never did help here. And RH tell you the referee kind of tell him to get back in the knee, but these guys are just going back and forth. Now, number one. Oh my god! Brain Buster onto the padded floor. I believe the referee. Is that a cow of six? As he actually returns to the ring. We're gonna send him into the corner. Big move by Warren. Oh, it's one punch, but no one comes back in form. Sam put him back into the corner. Kick to the death block, kick to the face. Warren is just trying to fight here. And now Tear Drop Suplex. Rocked. Number one there for a bit, so to the back of the head. That's now, ooh! Nice snap of the neck there, as you can see Warren. Yeah, he's tired. He's tired, folks. But this entire match has put technically perfect in a heaping of trouble. I mean, Anonymous has been on their asses, basically. Now we're gonna tag to Jacob. And what's this? Oh my god. This is their finishing move, their neck breaker power bomb combo. Their cover one, two, Bob big boot by number two, and there goes the referee on that picture by the My god. Now, ooh! Big move there by Jacob. Now, shot to the yard. This could be technically perfect opportunity to, you know, get the win here. I mean, number two is down up there at that point of that war, and as I say that, he gets up. But, I mean, ooh, go through. Got to up by number one. Now, wait, number one has to go up. What's this? Ooh, drops him on the top rope. That cannot be good for a good they will try to talk to the boy trying to get himself up, but he's up and waiting. Pop on driver! But number one is back up. Send Jacob into the corner by back elbow. Here for the uppercut. Cut by Jacob. It's now tag number two. Now, oh! Ooh, got turned around there. Big back suplex there. By Jacob. Look at the big man now, but one for two is not stopping. Ooh, that's the back of the elbow. But, and oh, fine, gets it. And guess who? I mean, the first thing you're trying to go for that back elbow in the first place. But, no, right there. 
Toe slam into the backbreaker by number two. Jesus Christ. Now look at this going for the cover. But for the opposition one. And ooh! War has managed to take out number one and the referee. And number two, he he's upset. He's pissed. And he's going to take it out on Jacob here. Kick out that one. Jacob caught the leg. You saw this earlier. Once again, Stanley running the figure four. And look at this. He's pulling on the toe. Pulling the toes and going too close to him. But ooh. Don't take out of it. Now look at this. Jacob using his speed advantage on the big man. But ooh, gets shut down though. And two, oh god. Once again, that's no breaker. Now going for the cover. One, two. Oh god, and this time, Jacob managing to kick out. But that has to hurt. I mean, you're getting choked right onto a man's knee. Especially with how big number two is. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. But ooh, back elbow. It looks like Jacob, he's bleeding. From that back elbow, oh dear God. Now look at this tag team number one. And we're gonna try to get him, and we're gonna try to help this tag from him. Wait a minute. Ooh! Body splash there out of the corner. Now wait a minute. Number one follows up with a no foot stops. Jumping over the shoulders of number two while he did it. Now wait a minute, ooh, knee to the gut. This, this, oh my god, bump, man, those face buster to cover. One, two, and somehow, some way, War was trying to come in and break up the game, but Jacob manages to kick out. But well, he's still in a bad spot. Close line there by number one. As you can see, the blood coming down the face of Jacob and I'll reverse DT by number one. You can say that Anonymous has dominated most of this matchup. Technically perfect could not really get, you know, their wits about them. I mean, it's very hard to do that with a team like Anonymous who, I don't know how long they've been together, but they've probably been for a long time now, wait a minute. Oh my god, Spanish fly out of the corner for the top rope. Going for the cover. One, two, three. As number two, Scott Warren, anonymous, gets the victory here tonight. Sadly, technically perfect. Losers in their debut. They try their damnness. But the dominance of anonymous continues here tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next matchup here, as this is a warm-up match for, for the world champion. As makes his way to the ring first, his opponent, he's a, he battled Brandon Ace to a losing effort in the first ever Dragon Heart Championship matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris Falcone, and also Chris they compete in the world title tournament. Sally lost, but this is a big opportunity. I mean, these two have—I want to say mutual respect for each other because when this match was announced on Twitter, the world champion Jason Ramirez basically said that Chris Valkyrie is a more 
of a deserving challenger, more of a threat to him than his current the current number of tether, RJ Smith, so that's really if RJ's gonna have his eyes on this matchup because this could be some big impl implication somewhere down the line. But still, we await our world heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, make his way to the ring now. He is your OHW world heavyweight champion. This motherfucker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Ramirez, and I know those those short the, that that gear anywhere. This man is without imitation is the best form of flattery. This man is literally coming out with stellar gear to one of our Asian trainers, CK. Imitation is the best form of flattery. That's that's all I can say, but. Oh my god, but um, here he is folks, our, the world heavyweight champion coming out holding that title proudly. Now the date for his match against RJ still is still to be announced, but you already know when RJ, RJ is going to be watching this matchup because he's got to take notes because you already know, Jason probably watched this match match against Jason Oliver so who knows who knows what RJ Smith can do against a man like Jason Ramirez who's basically been world traffic basically but right now Jason gotta focus on a tall ass motherfucker and the former Chris Falcon Here we go, folks, and these two are pumped in the night. Me and the center recall tile here is now Chris Falcone. He, he has the height and power advantage over Jason here, so you already know that this is going to be a tough task for Jason. I mean, Jason has faced bigger men before, but probably none as athletic as Chris Falcone, so this could be a challenge for Jason here. As now a third time since so hard Chris is just pushing RJ into the ropes here as oh god slapped to the face and I think RJ I mean Jason that's I I'm sorry I mean Jason I sorry folks did your key or commentaries that's that's my bad this is how RJ but Chris Falcone and says, oh, oh, God, raking the face of Jason on the power of now with his gals and that the eyes and the nose of the world champion. Ooh, that's dirty. That is dirty. Now, wait a minute, look at this. Chris Falcone with the German suplex. Good went for the bend, but he opted not to. I mean, with how he's been in control of this match is so far. Ooh, big swing and neck breaker there. How about Cone? I mean, with these matches where you get to face Jamia or the Neville contender, you have the opportunity to face it. If you win, get an opportunity somewhere down the line yourself. And now we'll look at this Jason with the loose death press. Coming back into this matchup. And that's the thing that Chris Falcon and both Jason has in the back of their mouth because if Chris wins, he gets a bigger shot. Oh Spinning heel kick by Jason. Just damn near not the fucking jaw off of Chris. Now look at this going for his own dead with Kerman. Oh dear God. Basically said, what can you can do? I can do. Better basically. Now, wait a minute, look at this. 
Plus using the arm. It's ooh, rep Lariat. That's gotta hurt. That's now look at this, Jason. That's Chris Racing Ropes going for the cover here. One. Ooh, only one. Very early into this matchup here. But ooh, with kick to the back by the world champion. Same in control with four form, but got blocked. That's now. Ooh, atomic drop by Chris Falcone. And now we're just falling out, ranching on the arm. And ooh, bringing over the shoulder. And now, ooh, hitting a fat suplex to follow that up. Now we just picks him up here. Gets him into the corner. Big elbow, tossing him out. Four calls onto the back of the head. Now wait, ooh, oh no. Oh, that's stuffing him. Back of the arm. I on the elbow. That, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. But now we just press back up with a fool. Usually executed. Fisherman suplex. I don't see that you look much for a pin there. Well, I guess not. Now Calvin Kyle, Jason pushing Chris away. Ooh! Big knee to the gut, dropping Chris onto the ground there. Ooh! Calls out with a short run into the European uppercut. Now he was putting him into the corner. Look at this. Oh, we get some Lucha Libre. Some world work there by the world champion. They say I can do anything. Now, the legs into the face. Now, Jason is going to the top rope here. And the world champion looking for a double foot stop. No. And ooh, flying goes on by Chris Falcone. My God, these two have been going back and forth this entire time. Now, wait a minute. Belly up, belly. By Chris Breaking. Jason back into the ring. Now wait a minute, look at this. Chris, that's a dick now. No rope. He's going for oh my god, oh my god. And I think when he went for a show block, as Jason met, probably may have caught him with a knee. Which staggered him just a little bit, but he did manage to go for the pin, but it was only a two count. Now we just send the world champion on top of but ooh, put to the face. Now here comes Jason with the head, but and tell me what I just found out that Jason is Samoan. I did not know that. I did not. He never told me that. Now, ooh, slingshot, slingshot splash. I almost thought that was a head, but and only a two count for the world champion. And we just crank it on the head and neck of Chris Falcone here. So, and this standing Chris into the corner, pull the match apart, neck break here. Now look at this Chris going to the outside. After that, it's now we look at this. Oh, the oh. Undershot it, or he probably slipped. I don't know for sure. But ooh, big punches there by Chris. Now I'm gonna to send him into the ring here. And Chris, he's gonna fire it up. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the? Oh my God, it's RJ. Oh my God, it's RJ. What? What the hell? And I think. Yeah. yeah, the ref oh my god. The referee called for the bell as soon as RJ hit. Chris Falcone, dear god. Now look at this RJ. Just completely tagging Chris. For what reason I don't know. I think it's just to make a statement. Single with drop hook again. As now, come on. This was a good match. And RJ just comes in and just ruins it, attacking. 
Chris Van Collins, I don't think Jason even knows what's going on. Oh my god. Now wait a minute. Oh dear god, he's picking up the stairs. Those still steps and now oh just slam some on the gut of Chris Falcone. It's now oh my guy sights back. And he has a chair. And now, oh god! Now attacking Jason and the referee. He's trying to tell RJ to stop, but RJ is not stopping now. Oh dear god! Jason caught the leg, but that knee and that little super kick into the straight jacket German super down here on the chair. My god. Now, what's this? He's going under the ring here. I don't know what for. Hey, all guy has a baseball bat this time. Oh god. First, he was in the attack on. Chris Falco, now he's attacking the champion. Now he just, oh dear god, this champ, oh god! Swung the baseball bat down, just crushed the head, chasing on the chair. Oh no, oh no. Now he, what is, oh god! This gets thrown to the face. Now wait a minute, what, what is he doing? Just... Oh my god. Wait. Oh Jesus. Wait. Oh Jason to get up. Oh man, no. Wait. No. 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 Don't, don't do this. Don't, don't do this. RJ, think about this. Think about. Oh my god! Move salt to the to the chest and neck of Jason while his head was trapped in the chair. And statement made by our RJ. Just got dead.
in there you see it folks the queen of fate championship that's what these two will now fight for in this match will become the first, new first ever queen of fate champion here coach suzuki karen jordan let's get this match up on your way in here oh you're all cool. Already coming out the gate. She knows how dangerous Karen is. Ooh. And she already knows she has to come straight out the gate. And she wants to win this match. And that is what she is doing. She is coming straight out the gate. Okay, because Karen, she is a dominant force in the wings of it so far, so far. You can say in singles action, undefeated. And that's the crazy thing. Undefeated. The only, I want to say the only one undefeated here. I'm sorry, here, Hiroko, who is undefeated, but managed to do it in a dominant fashion. Oh, God. Against, if you dance here one match against Kai Son, that was just pure dominance by Karen. Is, oh God! I mean, Karen, she has been at the top of her game and she's walking into all this stuff, man. Now, brain buster by Karen Jordan. Jesus Christ! This is it. Ooh! Set out neck breaker. And now Hiroko is using some big, big trouble. She is in some big trouble right now. Oh my god. And now we're going to just send to the corner. Now wait a minute. Tossed over, back elbow. And we've seen this from Karen before. The Tiger Faint Kick across the turn, but across the corner post. Now wait a minute. Go to the top, bro. For it. ooh, big time elbow drop. My God, now nah, going for the cover after that. One, two, and only a two count for Karen, who has been in control of this matchup so far. And now, big knees to the face. And now, oh God, as you know the. From the fate title history has had some complications. But we're looking to rewrite it right here right now. One of these two women will become the new first ever RSW Queen of Fate champion. As you can see, Karen G is as in pure control here standing here here I'll go off of the ropes into the German suplex Hiroko has yet to really gain a opening Karen has just been in lame man service whipping the ass in this matchup like Hiro Hiroko has yet to really Give a advantage, if you will, until now. Form to the face. And make do with him. Another form. And another one. It is Hiroko with the year camp to drop in Karen. And then going off the cross with a lariat. That was a slight lariat, too. She came down with it. She needed that momentum to shift. He has shifted the momentum. Now, ooh, they have a Fuji wall on bar here. Trying to make Karen Jordan tap, but that's not going to work on someone like Karen Jordan. They're an anime background, and she knew exactly how to gal that and now bicycle me. Now, you're up there. What do you think? Karen, she is ready to go. He was ready to go here. Now, wait a minute. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm the top right. Now, wait a minute. Ooh! Net breaker. 
by Hiroko. Now going off the rush with a double action. At least we may have gotten the knees too. Not too sure like going to the top rope. Top where the stand more splash to the center of the ring. That distance is absolutely insane. I don't know how she did. I don't know how she got that much distance for that splash, but Hiroko, ooh, back out by carry on the top rope here. For split diamond spinning heel kick. I was not expecting that. I do not see that coming. Now, ooh, oh no. The cutter into the dragon slick for center of the ring. And you can see Erin has her arm underneath the jaw of Hiroko. She has that in lock deep. And she is trying to Hiroko tap out here or even pass out. Using the referee, he's making sure that Hiroko does not pass out or tap out here. My god. But oh snap mayor getting out of it. Now need to look good now just stomping, kicking the chest in a cabin. Here Oko, she's trying to fight here. She knows what's at stake and she has yet to really except for that opening Yuri really can't the mantle, but now she's doing that. Into the rush and into after seeing the knees after throwing Karen into the wave, but just following her in while still hanging on to her arm. Now, ooh, to take that here, could have positioned something, but I thought it's now. Karen, oh god! Of course, and she's not uh, going off the rules with a knee! Jesus Christ! And she's not done now, pulling on the arm of Hiroko. Jesus Christ! Karen is in full control. He has been, like I said, she's been beating the brakes off of Hiroko. And now it was just pulling her over under the tower. I was just, oh my God, it's probably knees to the face now, wait a minute. Well, right, oh my gosh, he's just picked it in the face. He just makes Hiroko tumble to the outside. Now, we get her up once again here. What's this? Oh! She's moving for some of her. But I guess her back gave out. Now, big drop hit by Hiroko. Oh my god. Now, look at this throwing her. Back into the ring here, but this is her opportunity to get back into this matchup here. Look at this. Go for the swan time! Go for the swan time. Her fluffy face with moves to cover. Why? Only a milk out. Holy fuck. Big Karen Jordan. Pick out the swan talent. My god. Now, ooh, dip on the face, oh, dip the face, that's all. Now, back out by Hiroko. Look at that neck breaker again. Here goes for that one of the biggest shots in that swan top bomb. Yes, now, big goes like another one going off the ropes here. Good for a calf game, but no, got blocked. That's now Karen, oh god. Just trying to break the eyes and the nose of Hiroko. And now stop to the arm. That's now oh dear God. Look at this. It goes back to punch her dead in the face. Right in the forehead. Now wait, what's this? Karen. What's this? Scoop her up. But now Hiroko gets out of it. Close on here and out of the ring. Jesus Christ, this is the second time these guys going to the outside. Now this time it's Hiroko. We had the face of the advantage throwing carry into the guardrail. Now we get this gone for another squad. Oh my god! 
She went for those walk on Karen. Got away from got clipped in the face. One, two, and the two count. And Hiroko was coming down for the small dog. Karen got up, but Hiroko's legs, her heels, managed to clip Karen. And that was just a nasty crash in general. And now, oh dear God, that got her into the dragon sequel once again by Oh Pope Break. Saved Hiroko probably from getting submitted. More than likely. And I think yeah, Karen she is pissed. Now, oh my oh my god, that's it. How punch for that guy and says drops. Just drops here okay. Now big the go right here by Karen. He was stepped on the hand of Hiroko. And now when we look at this, that's all oh guys a dang her fist into the back of the neck. That's just a stomp to the back. He's Christ. Karen is looking to punish Hiroko, but Hiroko is showing that he has basically hard. And we just going off of the ropes here. Oh, Karen with the, with the grab, but Hiroko sidestepped it, but that hell in the face with that kick. So now, wait a minute. Oh, God, twisting cutter. Bye, Karen. That rolling cutter, if you will. And now we take Hyena into the close line. Shane here go out of the rain. Jesus Christ, these two are fighting to become the first ever Queen of Fate champion. This is what these two have been working for. There's a stepping foot in Royal Hunter Wrestling. Now, ooh, it's Christ here by Hiroko, but to take that by Karen. I kicked your face. But these two are just really trying to become history makers here tonight. Miracle, ooh. Trying to fight. Trying to hang down. Caribou's just been basically unstoppable. Not a big scoop sent by Caribou. That took a lot out of Jesse. Have to take a knee of it. That's something you don't see every day from someone like Karen and now wait a minute. Who has his escape down? Beautiful robot to the outside. Probably just on instinct. Oh, oh my god! Karen with the insect Gary. Look at her Hiroko behind the head, right in the ear too, I think. Oh my god. Now and yeah, he's still gonna finish it. We see him do this to Mustafa My God! Now going for a cover. One, two, three. Karen Jordan is your first ever Queen of Fate champion. Holy hell! Aaron Jordan, going wide. She is a dominant force here in Royal on the rest. And in doing that, she is now your first ever Queen of Fate champion. Holy shit. This is where you can hurt her belt. Oh. Scared of her still. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been that rush. This has been Royal Hunter Wrestling Episode 8. We will see you all next time and hopefully we'll update on the world champion's condition after what happened earlier. But still, good night. Y'all.